Hey, so Korean striker Curtis Allen, um, what's your reaction to signing for Korea for a second time? I'm delighted. Um, it's all been a bit of a whirlwind, obviously from yesterday. I, you know, I, I knew that Korea had put a, a letter in for me for possibly to speak about next season, and Warren contacted me last night and, and said, you know, what do you think? And initially I said no, Warren. I said nothing to do with the club. I just feel like I'm not overly fit at the moment. I wouldn't want to be coming half measured. And, he said, listen, I totally understand you know, where you're at fitness-wise. I've only played 15 minutes in the last five months. I've been training the last couple of weeks, but you know, I'm feeling good. But you know, priorities, obviously playing games, and I need to try and build on that, make sure you don't break down again. And, and Orange says, listen, we'll look after you. We understand that. And you know, you're not cup tied for the League Cup. You're not cup tied for the Irish Cup. And we have a big run into the league. So you know, if you can come in and, and work with us and, and contribute and, and you know, put the ball in the net, then you, know, you can have a big say in this for us. And everything he said to me, was what I wanted to hear. He didn't need to sell the club to me at all. And I know all uh, about the club, you know, I came here, my, as I was saying, my, my dad and my wee brother come to all the matches and, and they absolutely love it. They, they, they still, even when I was with the Glens, they love the away days of Korean because of the whole fan base and then the whole feel of the club. And, it, you know, it, it hasn't changed. I brought my wife up today and she said to me, you know, it just seems right. And I, I think, you know, sitting up there, it, it does, it feels like right. It feels like it's the right time for me, mate. And, you know, I'm eager to get going and, and, and start scoring goals again. I, I suppose it was strange the way things happened. I mean, you've been with Glentorn for a long time. I mean, how things ended at Glentorn? How were you disappointed the way things um, ended, Curtis? I, could, I think you're always disappointed to leave any club, you know, and the way things were. You know, and obviously been there a long time, and you know, I wouldn't stand here and say that you know I have real uh, feelings for the club because they, they were a great uh, club to me and the fans were brilliant to me. But that's football, and you know, I sort of had a, a chat the other night with Wendy and. And Mick and the indicator that they maybe possibly going somewhere, and I wasn't obviously happy because they, they, they said to me, you know, I was in the plans and things like this. But I understood, you know, that that's football, and you know, for me as well, I had to look after myself. And um, I went down and seen the lads this morning before they went off to play Queens, and I, and I spoke to them and Mick, and they wished me all the best, and they said all the best. So there's no hard feelings, you know. Any club that I've left, I've never left no hard feelings, and it's not the type of character that I am. And, um, I've been around football long enough to know that yes, I had a fantastic time playing to and thank all the fans and all the staff and all the people who were there for every time there. But um, it's you know it's the right time to move on and it's a new challenge here and um, I'm a Korean player now and I can't wait to get started. I remember coming here and being the first thing, Curtis, but how would you say you've developed and Korean has developed in that period of time? Uh, the club's really pushed on. You know, when I was here, we were sort of. At one of the higher middle teams now, you know, Korean and I, one of the top teams, are looked at as a, a title challenging team, and, and, and really so the squad that we've got now. But we, you know, when I was there, they were maybe trying to pick players from, from Belfast, it was hard to bring players in, and some really, really good players here, some really good young players here. And I think, you know, um, the club's only on the up, you only have to look upstairs, and you know, that's all changed since when I was there. And obviously, all the things like Colin and the rest of the board and, and the staff have built the club, it's fantastic. And, that's what you want to see, and that's what a player wants to see coming in the gym and, and things like that. It's, it's, it's fantastic. And um, for me personally, as a player, I think you know um, I'm obviously a lot more experienced. I think I know a lot more at that stage. It comes to Korea, and you know my ambitions always go back across the water, and um, which obviously I did when I went to Inverness. And um, I came back and I had to adapt my whole game to playing up front on my own. And uh, you know, don't get me wrong, I'm still a box goal scorer and a, a fox in the boxes, you know, and, and things like that. And I score most of my goals in the box, but I did that in my game to play up front on my own, hold the ball up, be able to run channels. So I think I come here maybe lacking, maybe not just as much pace as I had, but uh, still <coughs> certainly the, the same I could go. If anything, I'm a better finisher than I was then, you know, because I've, I've reflected more on, on the finishing and, and things like that. And probably a better all-round player in terms of tactical building and game management, experience of talking to other player, young players and bringing them in. You know, I, I tried to do also stuff because we you know when I was at Linfield and, and, and Lisbon and Stoy when I was younger, the likes of Winky and, and Darren Armour and these yeah. boys all, all put their arm around me and really helped me. And that for me is what I want to do. There's some of the young players that we're at Game Four and I'll put a cool game now. And I see a couple of young lads coming on today. It's fantastic. You know, and if I can bring anything off the pitch on the team yeah. pitch to help them along as well, yeah, that's fantastic. For them. I'll say it's a lot of competition up front, but we're all, all of something different. I'm sure you're relishing your play with yeah, all that. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think everybody does have a bit, you know, a big different uh, yeah. sort of different types of players, and yeah. they're all good lads. And I know pretty much most of the lads. Um, and, uh, you know, I spoke to Mara. Competition. And that's what you want on a team. You want competition, and you know, they ran for places and want, want to score goals. And 
I'll do all I, all I can, you know, at the minute, obviously I say I'm, I'm, I'm nowhere near 100% fit, you know, I'm coming off the bench and things like that and, and trying to make impacts is probably where I'm at at this moment in time, but, you know, I'll be doing all I can and within training and, and you know, and my own training uh, to, to get back to where I want to be and, and you know, and stay claimed to, to be playing every week and, and start putting in some serious goals. Well, it's, it's a great time to be here as well, like fighting on three fronts, you know, the cup final coming up two weeks time, Irish Cup, league, it's, it's perfect that's for you, it's, isn't it? It's a great start and obviously, you know, I can't play today and I can't obviously play against Glenshorn next week, so it gives me a wee bit of time to come into training and get a feel of things too, you know, and, and the players and stuff like that, so, and then obviously the, the, the cup final and, and the not cup title available, so, um, fingers crossed I can, I can make some sort of impact in the final and who knows what could happen. <laughs> Off the bench, score the winner will be will be a fantastic start, and I'll be dreaming about that for the next two weeks. But you know, it's it, it is exciting time. There's the travel's still on, you know, and that's what you know. I've got to look at it as a player when I'm coming here. There's there's still a lot to play for, and um, I'm really hoping to, to have a massive contribution towards this team and towards uh, picking up some silverware. And just Oren's influence as well, because <clears throat> you know you and him were close when you were here previously. And how big a, an impact did Oren have in getting you here? A massive, a massive impact. It, you know, if, as I said, I spoke to Oren even if it was in Inverness and I left. He would have spoke to me uh, regularly, and um, when the whole St. Martin thing, I spoke to him actually. You know, I, I, I would bring him for advice at times, and actually rang him one time he was on his way to St. Martin in the airport, and he rang me back. You know, and they're, don't worry, I'm in the park. What do you want? And, he, and you know, that's his relationship we have. He's a fantastic guy, and I sat in on the on the team talk there and. I can just see the intensity, the professionalism. I can see how much he's improved himself in terms of how his team talk was, and, and everybody knows exactly what they're doing and, and the fine details. And that's everything as a player you want to see. And you know, I can't wait to uh, to get started. And you know, it's a massive thanks to him obviously for, for pushing to bring me back. And all I can do is put the ball in the net. And, and the and the fans, uh, you, you always had a great relationship with the fans here. And going by from what we're hearing, so you know, the fans are delighted to have you back, and and you have a good. Relationship with them as well. I've always, yeah, I've always had a, a great relationship with the Korean fans. Even probably when I wasn't playing here, I still had a, a great relationship, and, and that's the sort of the, the type of player I am, the type of person I am. You know, um, I've never left, as I say, any club, you know, in a bad way, and I, I don't see any any reason to do that. And you know, hopefully, uh, I can get back to where I was in, in terms of when they last seen me and, and get and hit the ground running with some goals and um, get the fans chanting my name pretty soon. Yeah,